Hi guys, welcome back to the book club where we use real world examples to summarize and discuss one book every other week. Today, we are on a journey through a world of wealth building with this incredible book, The Simple Path to Wealth by J.L. Collins. Whether you are just starting out or looking to level up your financial game, I've got you covered with these seven key takeaways that can put you on a path to financial freedom. So grab a notebook, get comfy, and let's explore the simplicity of wealth building. And in this case, when I talk about simplicity, I'm talking about index funds and specifically broad-based stock and then bond index funds when you bring them into it. There are a lot of reasons that simplicity is an advantage. It keeps your costs low, it keeps your life simpler, it makes things when the time comes easier on your heirs, but the most important thing is it is the most powerful way to reach financial independence. Let's kick things off by appreciating the beauty of simplicity. In the simple part to world, Collins advocates for keeping your investment strategy simple and straightforward. Instead of getting caught up in complex financial instruments, focus on low-cost index fund. It's like cutting through the noise and finding clarity in your financial journey. Simplicity doesn't mean sacrificing return. It means making wise and uncomplicated choices that stand the test of time. You don't need to pick 20 different stocks. You can just buy an ETF or index fund that have all the stocks together. Now, consider the simplicity of automating your savings and investment. Set up an automatic transfer to your investment account and watch your wealth grow effortlessly. This simplicity ensures consistency in your contribution and eliminates the need of constant monitoring. You can just go about your daily lives. Next, let's delve into the power of index fund. Collins encourages to embrace this fund as the cornerstone of our investment strategy. Picture this, instead of spending hours researching individual stocks, trying to understand PE ratios and all those investment jargons, just invest in a broad market index fund. By doing so, you are not just betting on any specific company but on the overall growth of the market. This strategy minimizes risk and takes advantage of the long-term upward trend of the market. Index investing, based on the research that has been done, outperforms depending on, on what numbers you look at, 80 to 85% of active managers over a 15 year period of time. If you research out 30 years, the number of active managers who can outperform the index is less than 1%. That's statistically zero. So when you invest in the index and you're getting the average performance of the market, you're actually getting the best performance that you can expect by a long shot. Now, let's look at the impact of investing in index fund over time. Consider someone who consistently invests in the total stock market index fund over several decades. The historical performance of such funds demonstrate that over the long haul, they consistently outperform the majority of actively managed funds. This is a testament to the reliability and effectiveness of index fund in building lasting wealth. Let's unlock the magic of compounding. Collins emphasizes that time is your greatest ally in building wealth. If you have just started investing early and consistently contributing to your portfolio over time, not only do you earn returns on your initial investment, but you also earn returns on your returns, a compounding effect that accelerates your growth. Now, let's consider this real life scenario. Two individuals, one starting their investing in their 20s and the other starting their investing in their 30s. Both contribute the same amount monthly to their 60th birthday. Due to the late start, the individual who began investing in their 20s ends up with significantly more wealth due to the extended period of compounding. It's a powerful reminder of the importance of starting early and letting time work its compounding magic. Let's shift gears to the impact of avoiding debt. Collins underscores the importance of staying clear from high interest debt such as credit card balances. Instead of being burdened by debt, imagine the freedom of directing your income towards investment and savings. Avoiding debt is like removing a roadblock on your journey to financial independence. Again, let's consider the scenario of two individuals. One is consistently accumulating debt through credit card while the other 
diligently avoid high interest debt. Over time, the debt-free individual not only has more disposable income for investing but also experiences less financial stress and greater peace of mind. And if you're finding this takeaway relevant or informative, do let me know in the comment and a sub to the channel would be simple. Now, let's talk about the role of emergency fund. Collins stresses the importance of having a financial safety net to cover unexpected expenses. Imagine facing a sudden car repair or medical bill without dipping into your long-term investment. An emergency fund provides peace of mind and financial security in the face of life curveballs. Now, consider two individuals, one with a robust emergency fund and another without. When an unexpected expense arises, the individual with the emergency fund handles it seamlessly, maintaining financial stability. On the other hand, the person without an emergency fund might need to resort to borrowing or tapping into their investment, thereby disrupting their financial plan. Let's delve into the strategic concept of asset allocation. Collins advocates for a balanced portfolio that includes both stocks and bonds. This involves navigating the financial market with a well-balanced portfolio, a well-diversified portfolio that adapts to your risk tolerance and investment horizons. Asset allocation is like creating a customized financial roadmap that aligns with your goals and safeguards your wealth during market fluctuations. Realistically, let's consider two investment strategies. One is heavily skewed towards stocks and the other is more balanced between stocks and bonds. During market downturns, the diversified portfolio experiences less volatility and preserved capital, providing a smoother ride towards financial growth. It's a strategic approach that enhances long-term growth while mitigating risk. Another key takeaway from the book is the role of market timing and the significance of long-term perspective. Collins discourages trying to predict the market fluctuations and encourages adopting a patient and long-term mindset. Imagine the peace of mind gained by not succumbing to the pressures of timing the market. Instead, focus on consistently investing over the years, thus benefiting from the upward trajectory of the market. Consider the contrasting approach of two investors, one attempting to time the market and the other staying committed to a long-term strategy. The market timing individual might experience short-term gains and losses, but the long-term investor benefits from the cumulative growth over time. It's a testament to the resilience and reward of maintaining a patient long-term perspective in a life-changing financial landscape. Just like the saying goes, time in the market beats time in the market. Remember guys, financial mastery is a journey, not a destination, which is why you need to cultivate the habit that keeps you on the right path. Watch this video on how to get 1% better every day using takeaways from the Atomic Habits by James Clear. But wait, if you found this breakdown helpful, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment which takeaway resonates most with you. Thanks for watching.